All right, welcome back. We're now going to talk about the uh, ISO 27000 series. I don't know why. Every time I hear that, I think of uh, Space Odyssey and the misbehaving robot. Boy, they, they sure could have used uh, the security model uh, to help them with the robot. But uh, anyway, again, I digress. Uh, this is a uh, widely referenced and discussed uh, security model. Uh, it does establish uh, controls. Uh, in fact, it has uh, about 133 different controls built into the uh, model. Uh, each of the sections within this particular standard has several uh, objectives, controls relevant to those objectives, and implementation guidance, and some other information uh, that are uh, associated uh, with it. There's been a bit of controversy uh, with this particular model as well. Many uh, countries did not originally adopt it. These included the United States, Germany, uh, and Japan. Uh, they had uh, five different, uh, you know, uh, claims of flaws. Uh, you can see the first three uh, listed uh, here. Um, and a part of this led to there were some competing standards out there already, uh, and, and there was some question, is this really uh, adding anything there? Um, so um, this uh, has shown you the, uh, the kind of five uh, big claims that they have about it. But having said that, it is out there. It is available. Uh, folks are using it. Well, let's go and uh, look at the sections, and then we'll look at the kind of methodology uh, associated with that and then some of the controls, OK? So here's a list of some of the sections that are associated in the uh, ISO 27000. You have security policy, organization for information security, asset management, human resource security, physical and environmental security, communications and operations management, access control, and then the uh, acquisition development and maintenance of information systems. You've also got information security incident management, business continuity management, and compliance. And as you know, you kind of go through those topics, you should be going, wow, we've talked about that in this course. We've, we've covered that. Uh, and there's some that we haven't yet. Uh, but they are, uh, they are uh, part of your book and uh, uh, part of the ISO 27000 uh, series. When you uh, start looking at the 27000 uh, series, it um, uses a uh, InfraSec or a computer security management system where you plan do, check, and then act. That's kind of their loop that they're using within this uh, uh, particular model. And we're going to uh, take each one of these and spend the slide on it and talk a little bit about what that means. So we'll start off with plan. Uh, during the uh, plan, you're going to define the uh, scope of the InfoSec uh, management system. Define uh, your policy that governs that InfoSec management system. Define approaches to risk uh, uh, assessment. How are you going to go out? Are you going to do business impact analysis? What approach? You know, are you going to do a SWOT analysis? What's your approach to risk assessment? Identify those risks, assess them, and then uh, evaluate options for the treatment of the risk. Wow, you know, this is starting to sound like uh, your final a little bit, it, isn't it? So look at uh, what the options are. Do some. Uh, assessment of those options by some criteria, some analysis. Um, anyway, once we identify and evaluate the options for uh, uh, addressing the risk, we're then going to put in some control objectives and controls, and then prepare a statement of applicability. Who, who does this actually uh, apply to? All right, so you got the beginning uh, phase. Remember, we're in a plan, do, check, and act cycle. We've just covered the plan cycle, so let's move and look at the do cycle. So uh, during the do cycle, we're going to formulate a uh, risk treatment plan, implement that plan, implement the controls, do some training and awareness, and hopefully some education, and then manage the ongoing operations and resources that are allocated uh, to those uh, operations. And then you're going to have some abnormal stuff happen, uh, some security incidents, and you want to be able to detect and respond effectively to those security incidents. So uh, we previously discussed the plan phase. We just discussed the uh, do phase. And what we're going to do now is move into the check phase. So during the check phase, what we're going to do is execute 
our monitoring uh, procedures, so we're monitoring you know, those operations that we put into place during the due phase. We're going to do regular reviews of effectiveness, uh, review the level of residual and acceptable risk to the entire program, do some audits against ourselves, and then do a regular managerial review of that information security management system and record actions and events that could impact it. So you've uh, started with planning, you then implemented it, now you're checking that actual uh, implementation and that only leads, leaves the uh, last, last step and that is to act. And uh, during the act phase of the InfoSec management system, you're going to uh, implement uh, improvements, hopefully there are continuous improvements taking place, take corrective and preventive action as needed, apply lessons learned through a uh, after action report process, communicate those results and ensure improvements to achieve uh, objectives and then you loop all the way back around and uh, you're back into uh, planning again. And so this is a continuous loop of plan, do, check, and act. You're applying this against each of those uh, previous sections that we talked about. And uh, when you start to look at the series itself in this kind of overarching model, you can uh, see some of the uh, standards that have been built into it. Now, uh, this is pulled from your textbook, and your textbook went to print in 2010. Um, and so uh, there may be some additions here. You can Google or Bing to see uh, if additional uh, guidelines have uh, been added. And uh, this actually concludes this video that looked at the ISO 27000 series. And what we're going to do uh, next in the next video is look at NIST and its security model. So thanks for joining me and look forward to uh, talking with you in the next video.